Hello coders, I welcome you all. As you can see here, we have created this UI for our project car price prediction using machine learning in our last video. So now in this video, we are going to create web app for our project car price prediction using machine learning. We are going to create this web app using Streamlit and at the end we will upload this web app on Streamlit cloud. So let's get started. So in the last video, we found our best model exhibit regression for this data set and we have trained our best model on entire data set that you can see over here. And we have saved this model using this Joblib library. But if we want to upload this model on Streamlit Cloud, it is better to save our Xibush regressor using save underscore model method. Let me show you this. I'm going to use this instance. So let me copy this and let me paste it over here. And we can directly use this method save underscore model. And here you can give any name. Let me write xzb underscore model dot json. Let me execute this cell. As you can see here now our model is successfully saved with this name. So we will use this model for our streamlit web app. So I'm going to use anaconda spider to develop this web app that you can see over here. I have created new file with name car underscore price underscore prediction dot pi and I have imported pandas SPD. Also I have imported date time module. Also I have imported exibust as xzb and here I have created simple template for our web app. That you can see over here. This is one variable HTML underscore temp in triple inverted commas. It contains some HTML code just to display header of our web app. Then I have passed this variable into this markdown method of streamlet that you can see over here. And also I have set this parameter unsafe underscore allow underscore HTML to true. So as you can see here, this is anaconda prompt and you can install streamlet using pip install streamlet command. So as you can see here for me requirement already satisfied because I have already installed this streamlet. So now let's run our web app. So for that we have to write streamlet run and our app name car underscore price underscore prediction dot pi. Let me press enter. So streamlet will open this web app into your default browser that you can see over here. Let me minimize this streamlet server. You can see here I have created this web app header using this HTML code that you can see over here with division tag and with h2 tag that you can see over here and here I have given this name car price prediction using ml that you can see over here as you can see here I have written this code inside this main function and I have called this function over here and remaining code we will write inside this function. So now let's create web app for our project car price prediction using machine learning. So now let's write some message after this heading. So let me use st dot markdown and let me write are you planning to sell your car and in new line let me write so let's try evaluating the price and let me rerun this web app as you can see here so now let's create some space after this heading and before this string so let me use st dot write with nothing let me write once again st dot write with nothing let me save this code and let me rerun this you can see here so as you can see here we have created this ui in our last video so as you can see first fill present price so now let's create this in streamlet so for that let me write st dot number underscore input so this st dot number underscore input method displays a numeric input widget and let me write one message for the user what is the current x showroom price of the car and bracket let me write in lex let me save this code and let me rerun this as you can see here it is showing this message what is the current x showroom price of the car in lex here you can see my default value is 0 and here let me write 2.5 minimum value permitted and here let me write 25.0 maximum value permitted and let me set step to 1.0 let me save this code and let me rerun this as you can see here minimum value permitted please look at here let me press this plus sign. You can see here it is incrementing this value with one because we have set this step size to one. You can see here. You can see here. So this way we can set minimum value permitted and maximum value permitted with step size that you can see over here. Same way also we can decrement. You can see here by this step size that you can see over here. So let me assign this to one variable. P1 is equal to this statement. Let me save this and let me rerun this web app. So as you can see here next field is kilometer driven again. It's a numerical field. So let me write st dot number underscore 
input and let me write what is distance completed by the car in kilometers again let me set minimum value permitted 200 and maximum you can set any and let me set step size 200 let me save this code and let me rerun this app as you can see here what is the distance completed by the car in kilometers let me press this button plus you can see here this value is incremented as per our step size that you can see over here same for this minus you can see here as you can see here value decremented as per our step size and then after it is remain as it is that you can see over here because we have set minimum value permitted to 100 that you can see over here so let me set it to one variable p2 is equal to this statement as you can see here our next field is fuel time so as you know fuel can be petrol diesel or cng so for that let me use st dot select box and let me write what is the fuel type of the car and for selection in parenthesis we have to pass different categories first let me pass petrol second diesel and third cng let me save this code and let me rerun our web app as you can see here user can select from this options so this way we can use select box so now let me assign it to one variable s1 is equal to this statement as you know machine learning algorithm can understand only numerical values so we have to convert this input to numerical values so let me write if s1 is equal to this one petrol then let me set p3 to 0 l if s1 is equal to this one diesel then let me set p3 to 1 again l if s1 equal to cng then let me set p3 to 2 so if user select petrol our p3 value becomes 0 if user select diesel our p3 value becomes 1 if user select cng our p3 value becomes 2 so now our next field so our next field is seller type as you know seller type can be dealer or individual so again we have to use this select box so let me copy this and let me paste it over here let me change it to s2 and let me change this message so are you a dealer or individual so user can select dealer or individual from select box so now let me change it to s2 if s2 is equal to dealer let me set p4 to 0 if s2 is equal to individual then p4 to 1 let me remove this let me save this code and let me rerun our web app as you can see here user can select dealer or individual that you can see over here so as you can see here our next field is transmission so as you know transmission can be manual or automatic so again we have to use this select box let me change it to s3 and let me change this message to what is the transmission type manual or automatic and let me set s3 to this one if manual then let me set p5 to 0 if s3 set to automatic then let me set p5 to 1 let me save our code and let me rerun our web app as you can see here so now our next field is owner the number of owners the car previously had the value can be 0 1 2 or 3 integer values so i am going to use slider so let me write st dot slider and let me write message number of owners the car previously had and let me set minimum value permitted 0 and maximum value permitted to 3 and let me assign it to one variable p6 is equal to this statement let me save this code and let me rerun our web app as you can see here user can select one two or three that you can see over here so now our final field age age of the car so for that i have imported this module date time so let me fetch current year so let me write date time dot date time dot now and let me assign it to one variable date underscore time is equal to this statement and let me take input from the user with number underscore input and let me write one message in which year car was purchased and in minimum value permitted 1990 and maximum value permitted current year so date time dot year let me assign it to one variable years is equal to this statement so now let's find age of the car as per the current year so let me write date underscore time dot year minus years which is input from the user and let me assign it to one variable p7 is equal to this statement so this statement will find 
age of the car as per current year that you can see over here so now our final step as per the user input we have to perform prediction using our saved model so now let's load our saved model so let me write xgb dot xgb regression let me create instance of this model and model dot load underscore model and as you know we have saved our model with this name so let me copy this and let me paste it over here now our saved model is successfully loaded so now we can perform prediction using this model so as you know to perform prediction we have to create pandas data frame that we have created over here so let me copy this and let me paste it over here and let me change this value to p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 and p7 these values you can see here p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 and p7 that user will input from our web app that we are storing in pandas data frame that you can see over here so now let's perform prediction using our saved model this one so for that let me create if st dot button with name predict user has to press this button to perform prediction using our saved model so let me write model dot predict this one and let me assign it to one variable pred is equal to this statement let's print prediction using this message st dot success let me write you can sell your car for lex dot format and this value which is predicted by our model let me save this code and let me rerun our web app as you can see here predict button this one this one let me select petrol individual let me set dealer automatic number of owners the car previously had let me keep as it is to zero and year 2014 let me press this predict button as you can see over here here you can see output is inside python list so let me write index zero so for better experience for the user let me write balloons let me save this code and let me rerun our web app let me click on this prediction you can see over here so let's set these two numbers after this decimal point so here let me write colon dot two f let me save this code and let me rerun our web app let me click on this predict button as you can see over here so because of some input what if prediction is less than zero so let me set if pred is greater than zero if prediction is greater than zero then only execute this statements else write this warning message you can't able to sell this car you can't able to sell this car and let me put this entire code into try for exception handling and let me write accept and let me set warning for the user something went wrong please try again let me save this code and let me rerun our web app so now let's give these values for prediction 5.59 27 000, 0 means petrol again 0 means dealer and manual transmission is equal to 0 and owner 0 and here is 2014 let me press this button predict you can see here prediction from our save model you can sell your car for 3.56 lakhs that you can see over here so this way we can create web app for our machine learning project using streamlit that you can see over here so now let's deploy this web app on streamlit cloud so anyone can use this web app currently you can see this web app is local to our machine that you can see over here so now let's upload this web app on streamlit cloud so anyone can use this web app so as you can see here our machine learning web app is successfully running on our local machine so now let's upload this web app on streamlit cloud so anyone can use this web app so as you can see here i have created one folder with these three files this main.py which is our code file this one and this requirements.txt file which contains pandas scikit hyper learn and xgboost so as per this file streamlit install different modules required by our app on this streamlit cloud and this is our third file our model that we have saved so now let's upload these three files on github so let me create new repo you can give any name let me give car price prediction so let me keep it public and let me click on create repository so now let's upload our files so let me select and let me drop 
here as you can see here our files are successfully uploaded let me click on this commit changes so let's move to streamlit as you can see here currently i am using streamlit.io let me click on this sign in button as you can see here this is my account so please remember here you have to log in with same email id that you are using for your github because we have to link github and streamlit so let me click on this new app as you can see here it is showing different repo from my github account that you can see over here let me select this one that we have just created and our file name is main.py let me click on this button deploy so it will take some time we have to wait so if you want to check progress you can click on this button manage app you can see here as you can see here we have successfully uploaded our web app on streamlit cloud that you can see over here so using this url anyone can access our web app and perform prediction let me click on this as you can see over here so this way we can upload any machine learning web app on streamlit cloud that you can see over here hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe this channel if you like this video smash that like button thank you very much for watching this video take care bye bye see you in the next video